Hello, this is Cynthia L. Simmons, and you're here with us at Cynthia Chat. My guest today is Deb DeArman, and she has just written a book on mother-in-laws and daughter-in-laws and how they can get along. Deb, can you tell us a little bit about how a mother-in-law might feel? Sure. If you're the mother of the bride or the young woman, um, you've probably been involved and aware of the courtship. You've probably met that young man, maybe even developed a relationship with him. And you're part of the process from the engagement party all the way through their marriage when you're a consultant then. The kind of bonds you do. If you're the mother of the groom, well, that's different. So uh, very, very different, Cynthia. Young men are not often as forthcoming with details about their love life with their mom. And that young woman may feel like a stranger. And so rather than mm -hmm. feeling like she's gaining a daughter, she might feel like she's losing a son. And that can set up an unhealthy competition. Can you discuss a little bit how leave and cleave, as it's mentioned in Genesis, can help us? Sure. God's plan is that the two become one, that that relationship in him becomes the preeminent one in their lives before parents, before friends, before siblings. And it's a big transition for a young couple. When they leave the safety sometimes of the provision and the um, protection of their parents' home, it's easy to run home when things get tough instead of turning to one another. And in-laws on both sides can do them a great service by reminding them of that commitment to, to cleave and to work it out between themselves. That is a great idea, great suggestions there. Now, can you give us some ideas for loving our mother-in-laws? Because sometimes that's a little hard. Sure. Find out a little bit about her interests. You might be more alike than you ever knew. You might share um, the love of a sports team or a kind of music. You both might really love to cook or bake. Remember to include her, invite her in for planning when it comes to holidays and events. Don't just make her a guest. And lastly, most importantly, pray for her, Cynthia. Not just one of those, oh God, please show her how selfish or nosy she is and make her stop, but a real heartfelt prayer because it's hard to pray for someone earnestly and badmouth them at the same time. So lift that woman up. You'll be amazed at the improvements in the relationship. What good suggestions, Deb. I appreciate you coming to be my guest today. Thanks. Thank you.